Hello everyone, I am Sujoy and I am back with another cool Android application review for you. Today I will review the application called Simplex. So this is the application. This application is available on Google Android Play Store. This application solves linear programming problems or LPPs also called Simplex problem directly on your Android phone. But not only that, it will also give you step by step Simplex table without doing any calculation. And I will tell you how to use it to the full. So let's start the review. But before that, let me give you the overview of the application. So first option here is the help option by which you can get in application help. Next option is add row by which you can add a row to include a new equation on inequality in your problem. Next option is add column. Similarly, you can add a new column by this. Next option is delete row by which you can delete any existing row. Next option is delete column by which you can delete any column. Next option is dualize by which you can find out the dual of the existing problem. Next option is execute. By this option you can execute or solve the problem after entering it. And finally the option called save by which you can save a problem after entering it for later reference. And on the right hand side you have A plus and A minus by which you can increase or decrease the font size of the application font. So this was the overview. Let me take you to a problem which we will solve. So this is the problem. Use simplest method to maximize the following LPP. LPP stands for linear programming problem. Z equals to 2x1 plus 3x2. This is our objective function subjected to x1 plus x2 less than or equals to 1, 3x1 plus x2 less than or equals to 4 where x1 and x2 both are greater than or equals to 0. So now let us enter the question into the program. So first click on this minimize line to get the objective function and now here you can see x0, x1 and mode where x0 stand for x1, x1 stand for x2 and so on. That is this value here is less than 1 of the real value. So here x0 means x1 in real life. x1 means x2 in real life. So our question was objective function was 2x1 plus 3x2. So let's enter 2 and 3 as the coefficients and the objective function was maximization type. So click maximize and click this enter button. Now enter the first constraint x1 plus x2 less than equals to 1. So x1 plus 1 x2 less than or equals to 1 and click this enter icon and next constant is 3x1 plus x2 less than equals to 4. 3x1 plus 1 x2 less than equals to 4. Enter. That's it. Now let's save the problem and click on execute. So this is our first simplex table. So here as you can see the values are in the xb column the values are 1 and 4 in cb column the values are 0 and 0 and our basic variables are x2 and x3 that is in real life x3 and x4. So let's compare them with the problem which I already solved using pen and paper. I have already solved this problem using pen and paper. I have a separate video on that on how to solve this simplest problem using pen and paper or manually. You can watch that video in which I explain in detail how to solve simplest problem without using any software or calculator. Link to that video is given in the video description below. So here this is our first simplex table. So CB values are 0 and 0. B value that is XB value in the application is equals to 1 and 4 and our basic variables are X3 and X4. Again, let me show you they are equal. C CB values are 0 and 0, XB value or B value are 1 and 4, and our basic variables are X3 and X4. And now the CJ values are 2, 3, 0, and 0, and ZJ minus CJ values are minus 2, minus 3, 0, and 0. Let's compare them. CJ values are on the top 2, 3, 0, and 0. And ZJ minus CJ values are on the bottom 
minus 2 minus 3 0 and 0 and in four columns a1 a2 a3 and a4 down here the values are in the first row the values are 1 1 1 0 and the second row the values are 3 1 0 and 1 also let's compare them so in the first row the values are 1 1 1 0 in the blue, blue line and in the second row the values are 3 1 0 1 1 so as you can see the this simplex table generated by the application is exactly the same which i already did manually isn't it cool now one more thing to notice below the application the there is written pivot equals to 1 pivot is the element which is intersected by the two lines so the first blue line in the first row is intersected by the a1 column and the intersection value is 1 that is the pivot element optimal value is 0 because the process is not completed yet. we have not yet arrived to the final simplex table that is why the optimal value is 0 elapsed value is 0 0.006s that is below 1 second the application generates this table and steps value is 1 that means this is our first simplex table now click on this next step icon to move to the next simplex table and this is our final simplex table because here there is no next step option so let's compare the final simplex table also in the xb column the values are 1 and 3 cb column values are 3 and 0 and our basic variables are x2 and x4 with our final simplex table plus 2 the cb values are 3 and 0 b values are 1 and 3 and our basic variables are x2 and x4 as you can see also compare the cj values they are 2 3 0 and 0 and get the minus cj values are 1 0 3 0 cj values on the top 2 3 double 0 and z d minus cj values are 1 0 3 0 and in a1 a2 a3 a4 the values are in the first row triple 1 0 in the second row 2 3 2 0 minus 1 and 1 that is same here triple 1 0 and 2 0 minus 1 and 1 so as again the final simplex table is exactly the same which you already calculated and now the pivot element is again 1 and the optimal value is 3 that means after the final simplex table the optimal value will be 3 for the objective function and again below 1 second the application solved the problem as steps 2 that means this is the second simplex table so that's it for now how was the video let me know in the comments below if you like the video please like share and comment on the video your positive likes, share and comment really encourage me to make more quality videos in future. If you want to watch any of my operation research videos, link to all of them is given in the video description below. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.